Hey guys, this is Shannon with Nearly Organic Noshing and Sutton's Days is doing another pantry challenge and in addition to her pantry challenge, she is giving us homework assignments each week and I'm running a bit late for this one. This was the week one's homework assignment and I'm actually at the beginning of week two but I'm gonna try and knock both of them out this week if I can. My dad's been in the hospital in VA so in addition to my work and everything else at their house and going to see him and my mom over at the hospital back and forth. I've just not had a whole heck of a lot of extra time. So this is the house refrigerator. Now um, I'm going to show you the before and then at the end I will show you the after because I know what's in my freezers but they are not the most organized. This is my working freezer. This is the freezer I keep bags of uh, scraps for stock, open containers of berries, open containers of nuts, convenience foods for the kids that they can quickly warm up um, if I'm not here or they just want something quick for lunch, um, coffees, that kind of thing. So Macy, move. Macy, come on. Watch out. And it is a bit of a disaster right now because, like I said, I have been on the go so much so um, it is just a hodgepodge of things right now things are generally in the spot they're supposed to but bags are not reclosed things are just kind of tossed in here so um, this will be getting straightened up I may even be able to finish this one on my lunch today it looks like someone threw a uh, soda in here to cool down um, my like cauliflower rice, things like that, carb smart ice creams. Um, this is just working fridge. If I have something open already, it is in here. So um, that is this freezer, and I will show you the ones on the back porch. Okay, sorry, please excuse the washer noise. This is on our back porch. This, watch out mugs, is one of our porch freezers. This is all fruits and vegetables. That's what this entire freezer is but I have not done an inventory in a while I know what's in here just from memory but I've not done an actual inventory written inventory in quite a while I used to have one but I know I've used a lot of the things out of it but this is exclusively fruits and vegetables only and I know that I am going to take a couple of things out and get rid of it um, I had made a bunch of pineapple juice or I had saved it from some pineapple that I was canning when I had cooked and um, made it from like the skins and stuff and the family just did not love it. I thought it was pretty good, but they did not love it. So I probably will end up um, getting rid of that. I have some leftover orange juice from when I squeezed oranges. I put up, I don't know, about 60 gallons at a time and I have a few gallons left and I think that's some more pineapple juice but all of this down here is all corn under underneath this and okra and stuff from last year's garden. I have a lot of okra from last year's garden. So all fruits and vegetables but I do need to go through and do another inventory and next to it is my big upright freezer and this one needs some organization because I had cleared a bunch of it for Zacon, and then when Zacon happened, um, it didn't get filled, you know, the specific things that were going in that spot, and I ended up picking stuff up here and there um, that I found on sale, and they have just gotten tossed in here. Like this, this is all big sausage patties. So I probably need to break this down and put it into smaller bags. These are all biscuits. Um, we have friends that they have a mobile food truck that they do big barbecue shows and they had a bunch of breakfast items they were doing at a barbecue show. The show got canceled, it got rained out, so they had all this food they couldn't do anything with. So I ended up buying it from them and putting it up in the freezer. So I have figs in here that need to go into my fruit and vegetable freezer. Um, I have cheese that needs to go somewhere. That's some more stuff that I bought from them. Pizzas, bacon, things have just gotten shoved in here um, because I had open space. And when anyone sees an open space, they just shove it wherever. So I need to come in 
and do a bit of an inventory. I know things I need like butter. Um, I'm always looking to try and find great deals on butter and I never can seem to find really, really good deals on butter. So if I could get um, butter by the case, I totally would. And yes, I know my gaskets are just so nasty, but we are in Florida and the humidity level is insane here. I clean them all the time, scrub them and bleach them, and a month later they look like that again, along with the handles. <laughs> so I've kind of, I've not entirely given up trying to keep them clean, clean, but I wipe the outsides down and pretty much call it good. We don't use the water or ice out here, so. But like I said, it's our back porch. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys inventoried and cleaned up and straightened up and I'll show you what we end up with. Okay guys, this is the freezer in the office. It is always a mess. Um, the guys are always coming in here and there's dirty paw prints forever on things. Um, it needs some organization. I pretty much know what's in here, but I need to come in here and do a bit more, a bit more organization. There's mainly seafood and deer in here there's lots of scallops um, shrimp lobster i think there's still some lobster and i do have all this corn down in here because when our big freezer on the back porch had gone out uh, before chris could fix it and i was moving stuff everywhere i had so much corn and this freezer had a section we just took the bottom basket out and i know it is so dirty down here i need to clean everything out and wash it again like I said, this is like the dirtiest one. It always has fingerprints and, <laughs> and dirt and stuff in it. Um, but by taking the basket out, I could stack the corn all the way up. And I had corn in these bins over here also, and we had used these. And then down in here, I know that all this is deer. All this in the back is scallops. All of that is scallops. This is wahoo. All that down there is corn. Scallops, 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 and one of our neighbor brought me some figs to add to my, um, all of my figs. And then up here is stuff that either people have brought by the office or customers have sent. I know that this is a pumpkin roll that we've not finished. Customer brought leftover ice cream from Chris's birthday. And this is stuff Chris has bought that he tempts me with and leaves in the freezer while I'm trying to diet. Um, I know this is deer right here, deer jerky, cubed deer. So I'm going to put everything on the correct shelves. Everything got really moved around. Um, this is my old inventory list, which has definitely changed a lot. This is the one that went to this freezer and um, I need to go in and make changes and reprint up my list. But this is the smallest freezer that we have. Um, and it's the least used freezer because it is all seafood and deer, pretty much. That's the majority of it. But um, we'll get them in order and get my new list. Hey guys, this is the office inventory. We ended up with uh, 15 quart bags of scallop, uh, four fillets of king mackerel, one gallon of fillets of northern pike, a gallon bag of fillets of wahoo. I have three bigger than quart size but not quite gallon size bags of uh, freshwater shrimp and I have three containers of lobster which have two tails each so I have six lobster tails. Uh, for the venison I have one package of venison jerky, I have four venison cube steaks, one venison tenderloin, and a venison loin roast. I have 13 gallon bags of corn Oh, I forgot to put the dates next to these. Um, each bag has four ears. I have um, four single serve containers of ice cream and one pumpkin roll. It's kind of an odd assortment of stuff in here and I will show you how I have it. Um, this kind of stuff, I don't inventory. This is Chris's and there's just no need. He'll eat what he wants of that. I have all the venison up top I have all of my uh, scallops here except for one bag of corn that I just couldn't fit down here because I wanted to put the basket back in. All of my seafood is here. I have corn here, uh, one other bag of corn there. Uh, those are the lobsters. This one is empty and those are some more corn down there. So once I get the, 
the freezers on the back porch straightened up. I might end up switching some of the corn in there, but for now, um, I use the ears less than I use the, the corn that I've already taken off the cob. Um, usually this I use for parties or something like that. So it can stay out here for now. Simple enough to move it inside. So I am going to go ahead. It is, uh, let's see, 710. Um, I just finished about 30 minutes ago finishing up in the office. So now I'm going to go inside and um, finish making dinner and work on the other freezers. Okay guys, here is my freezer inventory for my small one on the back porch. I have two gallons of orange juice, uh, two quarts of uh, shucked corn, four quarts of pumpkin, five bags of mixed vegetables, one container of lemonade, uh, let's see, two bags of garden tomatoes, three bags of garden mixed peppers, three and a half gallons of fresh figs, one gallon of strawberries, one gallon of cherries, two quarts of blueberries, three gallons of bananas, one quart of grapes, a gallon of mixed fruit, a gallon of peaches, a gallon, I'm sorry, a quart of peaches, a quart of pineapple, hush, um, four quarts of okra, one bag of spinach, two bags of broccoli, three bags of garden cowpeas, one bag of English peas, one bag of Brussels sprouts, one bag of black eyed peas, and four containers of the caramelized onions. So this is what it looks like in here. I don't have it separated entirely by fruits and vegetables. It just didn't want to fit back that way, but I will be doing something in the next couple of months with the tomatoes and the peppers and the figs and the grapes. So, and maybe the cherries and strawberries also because I really need to do something with them and the bananas. <laughs> so, now on to the other freezer. Hey guys, this is the big freezer inventory. I'll probably go back and rewrite this and group like foods together a little bit better. Uh, but what I have right now and um, these are Zacon bags of like the chicken breast and chicken thighs. So they're great big bags. I have six chicken breasts, three chicken thighs, two whole chicken, one big family package of uh, chicken quarters, a large turkey carcass to make into stock or soup, uh, a two pack of ribeyes, a two pack of T-bones, one chuck steak, one sirloin steak, uh, four of the individual thin chuck steaks, one uh, thing of stew meat from Winn-Dixie. Further along, I have more stew meat. I think three things of stew meat from our um, cow from last year, but we didn't really like the meat, so that's probably going to end up being dog meat. One package of thin sirloins, eight packages of the hamburger that became is becoming dog food, two seasoned fillets, two packs of two, se two seasoned fillets each, two briskets, and four bags of beef bones. And then I have two and a half containers of bacon, one that's like a double size of Zacon bacon and then one Zacon bacon, two large family packages of pork chops, a whole ham, a great big box of sausage patties, seven packs of Nathan's hot dogs, four packs of uh, sausages, like Italian sausage, that type of thing, two packs of kielbasa, two packs of knockoff hot dogs, five containers of ground pork, three seasoned pork loins, one thing of hand cubes, one container of ground venison, one container of pulled pork, two pizzas, a container of plantains, a half gallon of taco soup, one spaghetti squash pie, a large block of sliced cheese, eight containers of butter. I thought I had cream cheese, but I don't. I have three things of venison sausage, one container of crab meat, one container of like the already peeled shrimp, and three of pork seasoning. And I will quickly open this. It's in the 90s and it's hot and everything is sweating. So this is what this freezer looks like. I'll show you the door. So quite a bit of the beef will end up being dog food, but it won't go to waste. So it just, it was very gamey tasting meat. And no matter what I did to it, it I just couldn't make it get that gaminess out. Um, so that meat is going to the dog. So these are done. I only have one freezer left But first I'm gonna go make dinner because it's almost 8 o'clock. 
Okay guys, this is the freezer, freezer inventory for the kitchen. Um, this one is not going to be complete because this is my working freezer. A lot of things that are in here are not going to be on the list, uh, like scrap bags. I have scrap bags for oranges, veggies, chicken, beef. Um, I know they're in here. I don't need them to be on a list because there's something that fluctuate up and down as I make stock. So I'll open the freezer and show you what I'm talking about, but I have um, three bags of either tots or fries, like veggie tots, veggie fries. I have two bags of collie rice, one bag of zoodles, a half a bag of green beans, a half a bag of corn, two full bags of tortellini. I have one full bag of chicken nuggets, a quarter bag of grilled chicken, and then I have pecans, pine nuts, sunflower seeds, a couple bags of trail mix, and one and a half boxes of phyllo dough. And then I have a mix and match of other things like coffees and chocolates and ice cream, but that is not going to go on the inventory. So let me open this and show you where we're at. Okay, so my two sliding drawers, and this is pretty much how I've had it, and it just really needed to be straightened up bad. <laughs> what is over here are coffees. Uh, we have the Cuban coffee, and then um, this is some Aldi's coffee in a bag. We keep Aldi's coffee in the office. And then this is my all-time favorite coffee, which is the Jamaica Blue Mountain coffee. Between that and the Cuban coffee, but I've not been having much cafe con leche because of all the sugar. So um, those are my favorites. There is some strawberries in the back, a couple things of trail mix, and then these are all my nuts. Um, this is some freezer jam, phyllo dough, uh, bananas, frozen bananas. There's a couple bags of frozen bananas there for smoothies. On this side, I have Carb Smart ice cream. Um, there's some bags of peppermints that I put out, like when we're having company, I just keep them in here. I have some of the uh, Enlighten ice cream. Um, and then there's like granola bars. There's some go-gurts for the kids. Some of my um, Chalk Zero. This is like Adkins chocolate. You can order this off of Amazon. This stuff is awesome, especially if you dip it in peanut butter that has no sugar. That's like my go-to. But there's other chocolate in here for the kids. Um, M&Ms and Reese's and stuff whenever I make them blizzards. Um, these are some lime frozen pops. And then I know there's some other Carb Smart. I think this one right here is a Carb Smart bar. That's mine. So now, this side is always my scrap stock uh, working vegetable side. So I have bags of orange peels, and I have tomato peels, and I have stock, and um, turkey pieces, and stuff like that, beef uh, chunks and stuff. All this goes in here for stock. So every night when I'm cutting up fresh vegetables, I pull the appropriate bag and I throw it in. And then these are all of our convenience foods, what I consider easy convenience. There are some frozen biscuits that just have to be warmed. There are the tortellinis, um, grilled chicken, chicken tenders, stuff like that for the kids. There's a biscuit sandwich. And then I think there's even like some chicken fettuccine in here. There they are. Um, like the quick dishes, uh, fettuccine Alfredo, a little lasagna, a Caribbean chicken meal so that if I'm not here for the weekend and the kids want to make something fast, this is pretty much the freezer drawer they go to. And then I also have a box in the pantry labeled convenience foods that have things like canned ravioli, ramen noodles, um, SpaghettiOs, mac and cheese, stuff that they like to make that they don't get very often and can make themselves. So that is it for the freezer inventory. Can you tell we've had teenagers in the house this week? I don't hardly buy soda anymore unless we're going to camp um, or we're going out on vacation or something like that. But when there's a bunch of extra boys in the house somehow soda always finds its way in so um, this one is here just to make me remember if I have pie crust if I, if I pick up any pie crust 
or something like that, I will add it to this list because those are things that I'll forget. You know, do I have that in there? Do I not? Um, and I always try and keep all of my nuts in the freezer. So uh, come a little closer to Christmas, my freezer will start filling up with pecans and walnuts because I'll need walnuts for baklava, pecans for Christmas cookies and things like that. When the nuts go on sale at Aldi's, you will see me seriously stocking up on nuts. So this is where I'm at. I'm gonna end it right here. And um, that is our inventories. I hope you enjoyed it. I will make sure to link my video up in the corner from the last pantry and freezer tour and stuff that I did, how I store stuff in my kitchen. And um, just so you guys can see. And to make my night complete, I had just a tiny bit of Carb Smart ice cream in here, which is now a melted mess. But I am going to mix this with some of my Stoke cold brewed coffee and a little bit of the vanilla Carb Smart, which is my favorite dessert. Not Trim Healthy Mama because this is Splenda based, but if you want just like a coffee drink that is no sugar, Stoke cold brew coffee mixed with Breyers Carb Smart ice cream is to die for. So that is what I'm getting ready to make myself so I can pull this one out of the freezer and it's not taking up any more space. All right, guys, I hope you're having a great evening. Mm, happiness in a glass right here. This stuff is better than Starbucks, hands down. <laughs>